David, this is Holden Dress. I'm with Mobius Leads. I had someone reach out to you the other day on the phone and uh, you had given them permission for us to send over a, a video to you. And basically in this video, I'm just going to go over a few ways that you yourself can actually increase the traffic to your business, getting found easier in search results online. Um, and it's just a few free tips, like I said, things that you can implement yourself. And a lot of times, the, the only hesitation I really see that that business owners have to hiring someone for this sort of thing is they they just don't really know who the experts are and who they're not and that's why I like to make this video just so I can offer something to you guys that you know you can actually use and, and see that it works and a lot of times that results in business owners just coming back to me and saying hey Holden I could really use your help so if by the end of this video you feel like I've got some value and you want to chat some more we can definitely do that if, if not that's totally fine too uh, please implement these things. They'll they'll help you out and they'll get you some more customers to your business. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Uh, I see that you may or may not have a, a website. I was able to locate your Facebook. It looks like when I click on your website or your business Google account, it does not show anything. Um, so what I'm going to do is just kind of go over what you can do to your website if you decide that you want to reinstate it or you know what your competitors are doing and how much traffic they're actually getting to their websites and show you how you can beat them out and actually collect some of the traffic that they're getting so the first thing I will say when it comes to Google optimization is content you know Google likes to see about 1500 words of content alone on your home page just to be optimized and we'll take a look at this guy over here he's one of the top competitors out there in Arlington um, and I have a tool here that tells me a little bit about his page and it shows me that he's only got 371 words to his page. So he's falling short significantly of that 1,500 that Google really likes for optimization, right? So if you're able to throw that 1,500 words up on a website, you'd already be outranking this guy specifically for just content. Now, in addition to content, there's things called keywords. Keywords are basically whatever people are searching for in the search bar to find you. Tree service Arlington, tree service near me, um, whatever whatever your services are that people are looking for, you wanna make sure you include that into your content so Google can easily match you know, the customers with you. And you wanna make sure you're picking ones that are what we call the buyer intent keywords. So keywords that people are actually looking at so that you know that they're trying to find the service or reach out to you right away. Something like tree service near me or tree removal are, are great. If it was like tree service from new, new tree service company reviews, you know, that's not a keyword you'd want to use because they're just looking around. You want to get keywords that people are searching for, but they're going to reach out to you immediately for your services. Now the next thing is this down here. It's called the Google map pack. This is a great tool. It's free. Um, and if you don't have it already, you want to make sure you get one because it's literally the first thing that pops up in Google after the ads. And like I said, it's free. It's a great way for people to see where you are locally and collect local traffic. Um, the most important thing about ranking in this top three here is by getting your name, address, and phone number of your business out there as many times as possible um, and as many directories as possible. And that's things like Yellow Pages, Yelp, Angie's List, Facebook, anything like that. The key is consistency. You know, you want to make sure you have the same name, address, and phone number, hours, everything across all that as it relates to your Facebook, your your website, whatever. They all need to be the same. If there's any inconsistencies, Google will kind of deduct you some authority points and you won't rank as high in this, this map pack right here. Down here, this is the organics area. It's where a lot of people click on. You know, not many people go to the first or the second, third, or fourth page of Google. You really want your website or anything about you, your, your business, to be located on the first page so that you can get the most attention. And the way you do that is by looking at Google as if it were a popularity contest. There's all these things out there called backlinks, um, and I'll show you this. Backlinks are basically links from other websites that point in the direction of your website. So the more of these links you have, the more authority that Google kind of sees that you have, and they start boosting you up in the search results. Now, not all backlinks are created equal. You want to make sure you're finding links from other websites that are relevant to your industry. So that means going to blogs that are about tree service and making comments on them and then just dropping a link in at the bottom, stuff like that, or reaching out to other companies, suppliers for arborists, things like that. Uh, I'm going to show you one more thing over here. This is a tool called 
our refs. It's probably the most powerful tool I have in my industry to look at someone's website and see how much traffic they're getting to their website and the reasons why they're getting that much traffic. So if we look at this guy, Treetops, right now, his website every month gets about 193 plus or minus 295 people to his website. So that's a lot of people just scrolling past his website that he can convert into customers. Um, he has 146 keywords on his website. These are words that people are searching for to find him that Google recognizes as keywords. And he has 55 websites that are linking back to his website 800 times. Now, Power only transfers once between that, so he really has about 55 links. But that's not a high number, so it'd be easy to beat if you were able to throw up a website and you know reach out and get some, some extra links. And then you'd be able to start collecting even a fraction of this traffic would really help you get some more customers um, and convert into some, some extra money for your business. So I just to reiterate, the three things I want you to take a look at are, are if you get a website back up and running, you know, content and 1,500 words at least, keywords, making sure that you're using buyer intent keywords and you can just click on the Google, the Google bar up here and it'll actually suggest things to you or go down to the bottom, there'll be additional suggestions that you can use as keywords. And then finally, over here for the map pack, you want to make sure you get your name, address, and phone number that's the same and consistent across your Google My Business, Facebook, all those other directories, right? Name, address, and phone number. And backlinks are for the organics area, so that's for getting ranked on the first page of Google and reaching out to blogs, um, making comments on different websites, things like that, and just dropping your link in at the bottom will, will get you some extra power so you can start collecting some of this traffic away from this guy over here. So I hope this was helpful and like I said, if you want to chat some more, uh, shoot me a message. I'd love to hear back from you or at least hear what your thoughts are on the video. Any sort of feedback would be great, whether you are potentially interested or not. But I appreciate your time and thanks for watching the video. Have a great day, David.